and welcome to Doc Fixes News. Healthcare headlines that matter. ICMR to test efficacy of two new TB drugs in clinical trials. ICMR has planned a clinical trial to examine the effectiveness of metformin and bedaculin in fighting the TB microbe. ICMR Director General Dr. Soumya Swaminathan said, The protocol for metformin trial is ready and we hope to start the trial within a couple of months. The beta curlin trial for drug resistance cases may take about six months to kick off. BMS graduates to fill vacant positions in government hospitals. Top public health officials commented that if there are not enough applicants from MBBS candidates, they will fill up the positions with BAMS candidates who are eager to work in rural and tribal areas to ease the burden of Directorate of Health Services. IMA officials, however, argued that this will not only affect the quality of medical care, but also promote prosperity. One of the officials told media, the government should focus on improving infrastructure and wages instead of hiring BMS doctors. Doctors indicted in sexual crime deserve to be barred, High Court. Delhi High Court opined that doctors indicted for sexual misconduct deserve to be caught and barred from practicing. The High Court made this statement after an observation while issuing notice to an Indian origin doctor who was barred from practicing by a US court in 2011 but was practicing patients in Delhi and Sar region. Need 2017 to be reconducted for few. The Need 2017 examination would be reconducted for students of Kolkata after a stage protest alleging that the Bengali version of the question paper was tougher than the English and Hindi versions. On the other side, Madras High Court on Thursday sought the stand of Union Health Secretary on a plea for cancellation of the NEET 2017 for admission to BDS and MBBS courses. IMA seeks good standing certificate from NRI doctors. In a letter to NCI, the IMA has sought a defined policy on doctors who have been barred from practicing medicine in their country but are now working in India. Before the doctors are registered or re-registered in India, the doctors will have to furnish a good standing certificate. Government states prescription can have brand names. In a recent update, the government officials have clarified that doctors will not be prohibited from writing popular brand names of medicines and prescriptions, which is a breath of respite for all the medical professionals. Novel biomarkers of cognitive decline in Parkinson's disease reveal. Novel biomarkers identified by a research team at University of Pennsylvania could help predict which Parkinson's disease patients will suffer significant cognitive decline or deficit within the first three years of their diagnosis. These results are published in an open access journal, PLOS One. New blood thinner more effective in preventing stroke. Recent clinical trials have shown that a new type of blood thinner known as the oral anticoagulants can be just as or even more effective in preventing stroke in patients. HPV vaccine effective in treating genital warts. A research team from Boston Medical Center has recently published clinical evidence to support that new recommendation from CDC, which suggests a two-dose HPV vaccine can prevent genital war. India's first successful womb transplant at Pune. The surgery, which was performed on Thursday, lasted for nine hours and was done mainly through the keyhole method, which did not even require blood transfusion. The performing surgeon, Dr. Shailesh Puntambekar, quoted, The first kiss always takes time and in the case of this 21-year-old girl who was born without a uterus, we had to recreate the blood supply before fitting the womb that was donated by a 41-year-old mother. FDA warns against the use of codeine and tramadol. A recent safety announcement by the FDA restricts the use of prescription codeine, pain and cuff medicine and tramadol pain medicine in children younger than 12 years. FDA also recommends against the use in breastfeeding women due to possible harm to their infants. Healthcare vulnerable to cyber attack, secure patient data instantly. After attacking the NHS, WannaCry has moved closure home and has attacked 120 computers of Gujarat government. Doplexus urges all medical centers as well as all the independent practitioners to follow government mentioned guidelines Contact the relevant ID personnel of your office for further clarification and protect your systems from the malware. World Hypertension Day IMA study reveals high incidence of hypertension among doctors. IMA study has revealed that 21% of doctors suffer from hypertension or isolated ambulatory hypertension. In this regard, Doclixis urges the community of doctors to make proactive choices of living a stress-free life. 
These were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by DocLexis, India's largest and fastest growing online community of doctors. Stay tuned for more. Happy DocLexis!